Assalamualaikum warahmatullah and a very good uh, evening to all. So we continue with lecture 13.3 on um, thermal destruction of microorganism. So as we know, the heat is lethal or destructive to microorganism. So basically, tenaga haba boleh membunuh microorganism and each species has its own particular heat tolerance. The lethality of heating process depends on two factors. The first one is the temperature of exposure and second one is the time required for this temperature to destroy the microorganism. Okay, how long it takes to destroy this microorganism at certain temperature? So that characterizes the lethality of the heating process. So thermal destruction of microbe is characterized by these values, uh, D value, Z value and F value. So every time we design a thermal process with the aim to destroy the microorganism, we need to consider uh, the, these three values, okay, D, Z and F values. Let's first understand the D value, okay, the decimal reduction time. So let's say we heat a colony of microorganism okay in this case we hit a suspension of microorganism at a constant temperature so the microorganism will eventually die because of the heat so the destruction of microorganism uh, this destruction follows a logarithmic order of death okay so let's see the graph this uh, the first graph shows uh, the reduction of microorganism as time goes on during the heating okay so as you can see here uh, this is the uh, the the reduction is an exponential decrease okay now usually uh, we convert uh, this um, exponential graph into a log scale so that we can obtain a linear a trend a linear decrease of the microorganism so as you can see here the second graph is the uh, log scale uh, that shows the reduction of the microorganism as uh, heating time goes on so the d value is the time taken for one log one log cycle reduction to happen Okay, for example, here as you can see, from 10,000 uh, microorganism to reduce to 1,000 is actually one log cycle reduction. And from 1,000 to 100, that is another one log cycle reduction. Okay, so the D value is the time taken for the one log cycle reduction to happen. Okay. So usually it is in minutes lah, yeah. Example here we have D seventy two degree for microorganism X Y Z is fourteen minutes. So what does it mean? It means that when we heat uh, food uh, at seventy two degree for fourteen minutes, it will reduce the microorganism X Y Z by one log reduction. So, one log reduction is actually equivalent to 90% of uh, population. Okay, for example here, 1 million when reduced to 100,000, it is one log reduction or 90% uh, reduction in population. So, that 14 minutes is here. This is the D value, 14 minutes. Okay, uh, as you can see here, when the 10,000 is reduced to 1,000, that is also one log reduction. And for this one log reduction to happen, it takes uh, 14 minutes. Uh, lebih kurang lah, 14 minutes here. Okay. Uh, similarly, when you want to reduce uh, 1,000 to 100, you will take another 14 minutes Okay, uh, for that reduction to happen. So here you have a question. How long will it require to this to decrease microbe from 10,000 to 100 cells? 
So 10,200 cells is equivalent to two log reduction. Okay, dual log reduction. Okay, as you can see here, 10,000 to 100 is equal to two log reduction. Meaning you have to times 40 minutes by two. So you will get 28 minutes. Second question, what does it mean to have higher D value? Okay, higher D value meaning um, the D value is longer lah, the time taken to reduce the microorganism by one log reduction is longer. When we talk about heating uh, in industry, current trend is to move to even higher temperature but in a shorter process time because we know when we expose food to higher temperature but in a very short time we are able to uh, retain the nutrient and also maximize the organoleptic properties of the product okay organoleptic ni uh, example uh, in term of taste in term of texture Okay, so when we move to higher temperature, but in a very short time, we are able to retain uh, the properties of the product. Okay, so um, to in order to adjust the temperature and adjust the the the, uh, the heating time, we need to understand the Z value. Okay, now let us try uh, how to uh, use the Z value. Okay, theoretically, Z value is defined as the required increase in temperature when we want to reduce the D value by factor of 10. Okay, so Z value is increase in temperature. Okay, how much increase we need in order to reduce the D value by factor of 10. Remember that D value is time taken to destroy the microbe by one log reduction okay uh, one log cycle or 90% uh, of the population okay okay um, we have to bear in mind that whenever we change the heating time we must also change the temperature because we want to have the same destruction of micro okay okay what do I mean here let's see the graph Okay, this time we have a graph uh, D value against temperature. Let's say you are a producer of food product and your current um, process, the heating time is 30 degree, uh, sorry, the heating time is 30 minutes at 90 degree Celsius okay, for your food product in order for you to kill one log cycle. Uh, population okay however you feel that 30 minutes is too long the heating time is too long okay and because of the too long heating time your food product uh, the quality is degraded okay the texture is not good anymore uh, the nutrient is so much lost okay and you feel like you want to reduce the this heating time okay so how do you play with the z value okay if you want to reduce the heating time you go by factor of 10 which is 30 to 3 minutes okay so this is a reduction by factor of 10 okay um, and then you refer to the literature you know that the z value is 10 degree for for certain microbe okay for for example here you have microbe uh, microbe uh, xyz let's say micro xyz the z value for it is 10 degree how do you know this 10 degree 10 degree you must refer to the literature okay and because the z value is already established by previous microbiologists through their experiment so you just need to refer to the literature uh, how much is that value for the microbe that you want to kill for certain upper for the type of microbe that you want to kill so when you refer to the literature the z value given is 10 degree meaning if you intend to reduce the d value from 30 to 3 minutes 
you need to increase the temperature 19 plus the Z value okay and Z value here is um, 10 degree so you will get 100 degree as your new temperature okay so if you want to uh, have D value as 3 minute you need to change your temperature to 100 degree and therefore you will have the same uh, reduction which is one log cycle reduction okay so try to digest what I have explained if you are, do not understand you can um, contact me okay so if you have understood uh, the about the Z value so you will be able to work out this uh, problem okay if you want to reduce the D value okay the heating time from 30 to 0 0.3 minute what is your new temperature okay since you already knew that z value is 10 degree okay so when you reduce 30 to uh, 0 0.3 uh, that means um, you have to increase the temperature by uh, 20 degree which is 90 plus 20 it is 110 degree for the new temperature that is the end of lecture 13.2. So please log on to Putra Blast to answer question. Okay, next topic is quite heavy on thermal destruction. Basically, we want to learn what happened to the microorganism kinetically uh, because of thermal processing. Okay, so apa yang berlaku secara kinetik pada microorganism apabila mereka dipanaskan. So you can also watch videos by Prof R Paul Singh in Putra Blast. Uh, as some preparation lah for the next topic on food sterilization.